There are so many great features available on StreamYard for all of your live streaming needs. But one of the features that a lot of people overlook is the record only feature on StreamYard. In this video, I'm gonna break down for you why you wanna use the record only feature, how you use the record only feature, and how you can go live after you have pre-recorded your video. Hi, my name is Desiree, and if you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button, that bell below. Now you definitely wanna make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video, because I'm gonna show you a very important way for you to take your recorded video and make it live through the live streaming options. So you're not going to miss this because it's brought to you by today's sponsor, Live Pigeon. So why would you want to use the record only feature on a live streaming tool? Well, a lot of people had requested this from StreamYard when they were going through their initial setup and creation of the tool. And so to figure out how people were using it, I turned to the StreamYard community over on Facebook and asked, how are they using it for the record only? And the answers I got back were so great. I had to share them with you here. The most popular one was for testing. One of the things that's so uncertain about live streaming is, is this going to work right? Is my new tech gonna work? Is my internet gonna work? And so many different things. So by testing it out with the court only, you can not only kind of go through your live stream as a demo, but you're also gonna be able to then play it back for you like in an MOV file or something and see what went wrong, what was working, what wasn't and all that good stuff. That's why StreamYard is so powerful because it's not only setting you up for success for your live stream, but they're giving you ways for you to test it as well. A lot of people also like to use StreamYard for recording presentations, tutorials, courses, all of those educational based things because of one really cool feature. You can have your information on screen as well as your face on the side. Because StreamYard allows you to have different ways to lay out who is on the screen and what it looks like, whether your face is big and your presentation is small or vice versa, or just the presentation or just your face. There's so many different ways that you can use the layouts in StreamYard. It's gonna make it really fun and interactive for you to have a next level presentation for whatever you're trying to do. Now, oftentimes when we are live streaming, we don't always have the option to go live. Maybe we have an interview that we really wanna do and the person just can't make themselves available. Or maybe you're gonna have really spotty internet. Or maybe you're going on vacation and you just wanna have the option to go live at a different time. Well. If you use the record only feature, you can sell all of the benefits and features that are available to you from StreamYard, and then you can just kind of go live later. Again, stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm gonna show you how to do that. A lot of people also like using the record only tool for the podcast recording. Again, you can have guests on, you can do things on the screen, all of that really great stuff. Or maybe you're going to edit it later, so if you know that you're gonna like flub up or something happens or a dog barks, so if you've got kids around but you really have to get something recorded, Record only allows for you to record those videos in a fun, interactive way. Again, using those StreamYard features that aren't available to you when you're just putting up a camera and hitting record. So let's head over to StreamYard where I'm gonna show you how you can access the record only tool and, and how it works. So let's go there. Okay, so when we're getting started with this, we're gonna go to StreamYard and just hit create a broadcast. And you have all of the different destinations that you've created, but we wanna skip the destinations and hit record only. This is where we're gonna put in what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just talk about how I'm live streaming into the hearts of the, your listeners. This is a presentation that I need to record for a podcast summit that I'm participating in. And so by using the record only feature, I'm gonna be able to see myself and have it recorded and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna enter into my broadcast. And um, I also wanna add in my presentation. So what I'm gonna do at the bottom is hit screen share. And I'm gonna pick the tab I want to be able to show on screen, okay? It will automatically pop me over to the place I want to screen share from, and I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is click back onto StreamYard. I'm gonna add myself to the stream, and as you can see, I can do different things like make myself bigger, I can change out my branding, um, and all that kind of stuff for the video that I'm trying to do this for. I can also just highlight just the presentation. I can um, arrange this on screen side by side. I can make myself small and I can make the presentation big or I can have just the presentation on here. Now, again, depending on what you're using for your presentation, whether it's like a PowerPoint or anything like that, what I'm gonna now do is go into um, like full screen mode and then you'll be able to see what it looks like, okay? And you can see over here in StreamYard, I have it in full screen. And again, I can just kind of add myself. Hi, I can start a presentation. Hey guys, welcome to what I'm doing here, blah, 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 blah. I can have myself small while I'm here trying to do this. Make myself just the focus. I can add just the presentation. 
There we go. And so there's a lot of different ways that I can do it. And I, all I gotta do once I'm ready, like once I have my layout established, I've kind of messed around with my branding, make sure everything is the way I want it to be. Um, then I just go up here to record and it's going to record it and it's going to save it to my computer. So hi guys, I'm here to help you guys with live streaming into the hearts of your listeners with Streamer, which is the best live streaming tool on the market, okay? Let's say I've done my full presentation. I've played with all the things and all the stuff, added all of my overlays, and I hit end broadcast. Okay, and as you can see, this broadcast has ended. So now what I need to do is download the recording. So I hit links and I download my recording. And I can do my recording only or my audio only. I'm gonna do the recording. And then it's just going to download it. And as you can see, Streamer saves your recordings for up to 15 days. So what I would recommend doing is downloading them once they are done so that you have them natively on your computer. And as you can see, to my computer. So here is my video that I did with my live stream. And it's just while I was on there live streaming and recording, there's no live button or anything on here that you can see. And now what I need to do is I need to make this a live stream with this pre-recorded video. So let's head over and talk about how to do that. Okay, so now that you have recorded your video and it's all set to go, whether you've done editing or whatever it may be, you want to go live with that video, but you can't because it's pre-recorded. So how do you do that? Well, that's where today's sponsor, Live Pigeon, comes in. Live Pigeon allows for you to live stream your pre-recorded content to Facebook and YouTube so incredibly easy. I literally use this tool all of the time with my pre-recorded videos. All you have to do is take your pre-recorded video from StreamYard, upload it to StreamYard, and set the time that you want to go, and boom, it goes live. The reason this is gonna be really beneficial for you versus uploading this regular video or doing a premiere on YouTube is that the YouTube and the Facebook algorithm give special treatment to live streams. When it goes live, you can still be actively participating in the chat and doing all that stuff. You're gonna be able to get your super chats and, and your stickers, and all of the membership benefits and all of that good stuff with your live stream. That's why being able to record only with StreamYard but using Live Pigeon to actually live stream it is gonna be such an amazing pairing and I speak from experience where I have used this myself repeatedly. So if you're wanting to know more about how you can live stream your videos and walk through how Live Pigeon works, I want you to watch this video I have for you right here where I'm gonna break this down for you and remember, you can check out Live Pigeon for free with the link I have for you down in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you soon.